All right, well, we are here in Traverse City, Michigan, and we are in the Blessed Hall of Wonders, or what Haggerty Insurance calls the Haggerty Car Collection. Haggerty Insurance, if you don't know, they provide classic car insurance for all kinds of weird stuff, like these cool cars behind us. Brian, what do we have? We have a 1967 Porsche 911 S. And we have a lot of Mustang here. This is a 1967 Shelby Mustang GT500 with the big block 428 and two four barrel carbs. So we have an orange and an apple. And what we're trying to do is find out which is the better sports two plus two of 1967. How do you stand a chance with this thing? Easy. It's a better driving car. It is a sports car. This is a scalpel. This is a hatchet. We are going to try and find out which of these cars is more fun, is more rewarding on the back roads on this very awesome comparison. For those of you watching at home, that was about $8 of fuel. You cannot argue the power though. Power is so easily available. This is like a locomotive with racing stripes. It's just like an enormous well of power. There's so much everywhere in the rev range. That's addictive. You don't get that with the Porsche. To me, this is a little bit overstyled, you know, with this, the fake hood scoops and stuff like that. And I don't think it handles that bad. No, you just have to plan on how you're going to turn. And how you're going to stop. How you're going to stop. This interior has Beautiful. It's got a brushed aluminum dashboard, big gauges with cool Art Deco fonts. And there's plenty of legroom. Not so much headroom. It, no, it would have been just so much better with a four-speed manual. If that a four-speed, I would enter a loving, stable relationship with this vehicle. All right, well, that's the Mustang. You think this 911 can win me over? It should win you over. It better win you over. Well, this feels a little different. Oh, just a little. You know, we just came out of the Mustang, and that's what America considered bucket seats. These are bucket seats. Yeah, and if you have too big a bucket, you're not going to fit comfortably. What a car! Yeah. Nothing sounds like a flat six. Nothing sounds like a flat six. The steering in this feels modern. Much more so. There's a lot less play. This car is all about the drive. There's nothing in this interior at all. It's just black. Black carpet, black seats, black plastic shift knob, black dashboard, black gauges. Porsche didn't believe in frippery. But it must be said, the gearbox is not a willing dance partner. No, you have to be very deliberate with it. I'm almost at a loss for words because I'm just so into the experience. Uh, this, this, is, this is fantastic. Uh, the drive you thought would never end. It has ended. But we get to go back to the garage and uh, pick a winner of these two. They're there. Okay, we have had probably one of the best days of our lives driving two fabulous cars. But have we come to a conclusion? Maybe we have. Maybe we have. And we have to say, both of these cars are so fun and so rewarding to drive, but one just stands out above the rest, and I think Brian knows what it is. It's the Porsche 911S. It simply is the better driving car. And while the Mustang delivered big, cheap thrills, it's always fun to stab the gas and have the rear end light up. It's kind of more of a balancing act. You're trying to keep it in the lane, you're trying to keep the rubber on the road, whereas the Porsche is a balanced car. I have to admit, it was a tough call for me because I grew up lusting after muscle cars and pony cars. Both of these cars definitely lived up to the expectations. These are cars that are on the covers of magazines, on bedroom walls. Each one was awesome to drive, but that is a tough car to compete with. 
For Driving.ca, I'm Brian Harper. And I'm Clayton Seams.